Hello and welcome to another E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to look at searching through the RS Means Guide, specifically the select group. So this will kind of close up um, our few videos here on our search utilities. Okay, now if you have not watched the navigation tree video, uh, we suggest that you do this now before you watch this one because we're it's basically a, a, a follow-on and we're going to pick up right where we left off. All right. So, welcome back if you just did that. Um, otherwise, we're going to jump in and, and get to work here. So, this is our fifth, I guess, search utility that we've been kind of playing with here. Um, what we did was we just left the guide navigator and we saw um, that we could drill down the different levels and see some of the different groupings and then drill down into each of those groupings and see some of the different sections, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the select group. And what it is, is it's basically just a piece of the navigation tree. So what we've done is, instead of showing you the entire tree, we're just kind of showing you one branch, okay? One section of it here, just to make it a little bit uh, uh, visually simple so you could jump back and forth real quick without having the entire tree up and maybe it just help you maneuver around a little bit, all right? Whichever one you like best, use it we're cool all right but we just showed you how to get in here to facility water distribution and we could jump and or we could see the different sections here maybe brass piping and then copper tubing and steel etc all right now these are kind of nice you may need some of each of these in your estimate and it might be nice to jump back and forth real quick and you could totally do it with the guide navigator, the navigation tree for sure, but we kind of want to show you this select group that we kind of like. So when we jumped over here to brass piping, okay, you can come down here and notice here what's going to happen. All right, right here, say we needed some one inch, and now we're at the fifth level, right, the line item level. When we use the select group search utility, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of look at the level we're on. It's going to go up one level and show us all of the options at that level. All right. So basically, if we're down here, the one inch, it's going to show us our parent, our mom or our dad, and then all of our aunts and uncles. Okay, go up one generation. So let's take a look and see how that works. We're at the fifth fifth level here, where we can right click on it. Of course, we can go down to our search utilities and we can see select group. All right, we're going to hit this in a second to activate it, but let's take a little peek at the hotkey. Now, this is Control G, right? We used Control S a couple of times ago and with the search, right? Here, the hotkey is going to be Select Group, all right? Control G. All right? I think we know how to do that by now, so we won't go through that, but we'll hit this right here. And what it did, notice it showed us all of our fourth level options. Okay, so if we go peek at the guide navigator here real quick, oh, it's not going to let me jump, so I'll do that in a second. But it's going to show us our brass, copper, steel, all those different ones. Okay, so I'm going to come down and jump over to copper for a second. Okay, now it's going to let me jump over to the navigation tree, and we can see those are the same options. So it basically showed us these options without showing us the rest of the tree. So it kind of just streams I it, streamlines it there for us. Okay, so. If we were here in copper piping, we could come down. There's K, there's L. Say we could get one of those. Now, let's use that hotkey, Control G, and that allows us to jump back up. We have the same options because we jump from the fifth level, so it's going to show us all of our fourth level options. We can come down to steel piping, and boom. Okay. Now, what we can do here? Now we're on the fourth level. Okay. If we called select group right now, activated that command, what's it going to do? That's right, it's going to show us all of our third level options. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and use the toolbar icons because I haven't showed you that, right? So we've been working through index, then the favorites, the search, the navigation tree. Now here is our select group command, and it did what we thought. We were highlighted on the fourth level, so it jumped up and showed us all of our third level options. Now, if I wanted to go over to, say, domestic water pumps, we could jump over there. Or, if I wanted to jump up one more level, we could jump up, and this is going to show us all of our second level options in the 22 there. Hopefully, that's kind of making sense a little bit. So, this allows you to jump around a little bit. 
Um, basically, you're working through the navigation tree, but just a simpler version of it and just the stuff that you might be focused on or want to look at. Okay, so that was a nice little video, quick and dirty there, but hopefully that kind of gave you uh, another tool for your toolbox or arrow for your quiver there. Um, as always, please look through the other videos. Hopefully you'll get something out of there. Um, now we're going to start looking at how to maneuver through the guide and add some of these line items now that we know how to track them down. All right, so give us a holler if you need anything. Uh, we want you to have just a wonderful day. Thanks so much.